Welcome to this week's On Location broadcast of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, here we are at the site of the iconic property Hotel Del Coronado in Coronado Island and what an exciting venue to do an on location broadcast of Jim and Java and it's exciting to be here. I am here doing a an event. It's a major donor weekend that our organization is doing and I thought I would take the uh, broadcast along with me to address some topics. I've saved a question that we've had over the last couple of weeks. I've saved that for this particular broadcast so that we'll be able to address that right with you this morning. It's a beautiful morning in Coronado Island. It's uh, about 60 degrees and it's expected to be a gorgeous sunny day. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to give you a few uh, b-roll footage of the, the beach and the surf but what a great venue. Uh, if you aren't already a subscriber to this channel, this is the kind of information and the kind of broadcast you'll be getting to find out how to increase your income and become fully funded. So our question today is from Dale in Reston, Virginia. And Dale asks, what do you look for in, a, in an event venue? Well, Dale, thanks so much for your question. And I'll tell you, an event venue is so important to the success of any event, whether it be a uh, luncheon gathering, whether it be a breakfast, whether it be a dinner, a banquet, or even a weekend event like I'm doing here with major donors. Uh, the event venue is so important. You want to find an event venue that people look forward to going to. It's got to be a location that is um, that is uh, exciting and uh, something that people feel like like will be, uh, it will attract people to come to the venue where you're at, and you want to find a place that you uh, that that is not too far away. If you're having a local event, uh, you don't want that commute to be any more than about 60 minutes from where people are coming from. So not uh, not an hour, not two hours away, but from the standpoint of the, uh, the, the commute, you don't want that commute to be too far for people. Now, if you've got an event like we're doing here, a weekend event, I've got people coming all the way from Maine, Connecticut, Boston, Massachusetts, from Orlando, Florida, uh, Seattle, Washington, Minneapolis, Dallas, Texas. So we've got people coming from all over the United States to be at this event. So it's important that it is a venue that people look forward to coming to. And I'll tell you, after a long winter, here we are in April, there's no better place to be than in Southern California, enjoying some nice weather. And many of these people are enjoying the opportunity that they've got so far to be able to thaw out uh, on the beach. Uh, I have the opportunity coming a, coming a little early to be able to prepare for that. But finding a venue is extremely important. And of course, in, in addition to the location, you also want to make sure that you can you uh, they provide the food the service the menu that you want and also the aesthetics so everything from the round tables are they going to be uh, 60 inch tables are they going to be 72 inch tables are you going to want eight at a table 10 at a table 12 at a table are you going to need staging are you going to need pipe and drape uh, will they be providing audio visual will audio visual be provided outsourced to save money. Venues can be very expensive. Negotiating meals is extremely important to your contract. It should be something that you do before you sign the contract because I'll tell you they will not be in a position to want to help you any more than when you sign that contract. So it is so important that you negotiate your meal beforehand. Uh, I am a big fan, especially for dinners, of going with a beef option and I can work through the ounces on that beef option. I work through going with a uh, starting typically with a 10 ounce, six ounce uh, or eight ounce cut of beef. Uh, there's times when I have even reduced the cut down to four ounces, uh, but that is a small cut. But I, I really appreciate that. Although in this day and age, we're really struggling with a lot of these venues having high cost meals. And so you may end up having to settle for a chicken 
uh, option. I n never will I go with fish because it's too risky for a large uh, audience. Uh, we will be able to accommodate for things like vegetarian meals, gluten-free, nut-free, soy-free, dairy-free, all the kinds of options, vegan that's out there. Uh, but have a standardized menu and it's going to save you quite a bit of money. But make sure, take my tip, do not negotiate your um, contract after you sign it. Make sure that you negotiate all the things that you need before signing your contract. And especially look for a property that will offer you direct bill. Being able to just put down a deposit and not have to pay until after your event is going to really, really help you from that standpoint. So I would encourage you strongly to consider a um, uh, applying for direct bill as well too. And so that, those are some of the key items uh, with regard to your venue that you want. So Dale, I hope that answered your question. Uh, I really appreciate questions regarding events and regarding venues, especially making sure that you choose the right venue very important to whatever you're doing so anyway uh, i appreciate it if you aren't already a subscriber please subscribe leave us a comment uh, let me know whether you liked this kind of video on location we'll look at trying to do this from time to time and more often if uh, you just enjoyed the content, please put that, that down in the comment section. I always appreciate your questions. Uh, please go out to Twitter at uh, DevFStrats. Use the hashtag Jim and Java. Please check us out on Instagram at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And also, you can always reach me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. So, as I always say, we are here to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week and see you in the next video.